Mr. Bell here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching Sons of Anarchy Season 1 Episode 11, getting to the end. Um, this is going to be my first full length reaction on Patreon also. So um, yeah, if this is your first time watching, please like, follow, subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you want to see up to six episodes ahead, just have a look at my Patreon page, join there and we'll also have full reactions for episodes starting from today. I'm not gonna go and backdate the ones that I've already done. Um, so, where did we leave it off? Episode 10, um, ATF raided the porn business that Luan runs, um, arrested her because she had drugs in the place. Um, and then ATF decided they wanna target all the women in the men's lives. So they go for Tara, they go for Jax's girl, don't know what her name is, is it Rita? I'm not sure of her name. And um, yeah, they've already got Luann. Um, so in the supermarket, she sees uh, Jax's girl and she tries to make a run for it, smashes one of the ATF officers in the face, but gets caught and apprehended. Um, the sheriff, the dirty sheriff, he tells the boys that basically she's going for a Rico and so you don't want to give any information to her because Rico is all about, you know, um, it's all about like uh, planned consistent crime. Um, so yeah, you can scratch that, I'll edit that a bit. Um, and so um, they go to Otto and they basically say to Otto, in order to get your girl out, you're gonna have to make a deal, and we'll also get you out, but you're gonna have to give us some information about Sam, um, Sons of Anarchy. And so he makes a deal, but he says, you know, he wants his girl out first before he's ready to sign off on the deal. So he gets his girl released and he gets a conjugal visit, so she comes in to give him some comfort or whatever. And she tells him that it's Rico, and basically he can't give them nothing. And so, I don't know if he planned to give them some old news or something, but at that point he decides he's not giving them anything. And when she comes back in, he literally smashes her face on the table, which was just hardcore. Um, she looks pissed now, um, rightly so, but she looks like she's out for some revenge. Um, ATF and the new sheriff guy that's going to be taking over a banging and whilst they're banging freaking Jax breaks his girl up is it his girl um one nuts half sax girl not Jax's girl he breaks half sax girl out of prison <laughs> which is going to be so hard to explain if you think about it because limited people have the key so it's very obvious that the dirty sheriff helped out but I don't know if they're gonna get into that detail there. But um, yeah, and then the guy that got killed at the hotel, the girl that was in the hotel room identified Elvis and OP as the shooters. So now ATF know who was there. So it's all coming out on top. So that's where we left it, straight into episode 11. Um, just to say, I've got a prolapsed disc in my spine at the moment. If I'm a bit slouchy, it's because it's the position that I'm trying to get into to be comfortable. And I'm also on freaking Tramadol. So if I'm a bit sleepy or drowsy, I'm sorry. It's probably not the best time to um, start a full length reaction, but all I can do is sit down and watch TV and nothing else. And so times are ticking. So figured, let's crack on. So um, episode 11, let's go. Don't know why he burnt that book. But there's gonna be some important information on like a burnt page and one word's gonna be missing and Lorenzo McClair. I don't not so much. Oh, yeah. You see how it still says. Oh I love that man. Oh. Hey, okay. That's my Clay cops. <laughs> What if having cameras if you don't use them? Got to watch them. Who are they after? I didn't get anything.
pissed. They're under arrest for the murder of Brennan Heffern. Whatever they got, it's real. Who is the bastard witness? The man sure. Who is it? Only two other guys. The witness to that hit. One of them's in jail, and the other one is. Hey! Don't even say it, asshole. You better curb. Yes, that just because he's not there. Dick. Can't take this guy. Do people really do that? Or is it just on TV? Oh. Is he in the cell? Oh shit. Stores detaining me. The question. For what? Any idea what happened to him? Ask Hale. He says Stores little errand boy. There's more than that. But the night when we were in here, he's face down in that shed. Oh. Idiot. You gotta find out, man. Have they moved his family away or something? If the whole family's gone. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Looking well, better than before. Is this her? Is this where she lives? Was this her and Jax's place? Or just hers? Okay, so this is what Gemma's doing for the baby. How's his sleep out here? In the last two nights, no alarm, he's on his throat. You'll be able to take him home? Probably not. His little hat. Can I ask you a practical question? Who's going to take care of him? I will. What do you think? Big responsibilities come with my son. You better think about that. Figure out if you can take him. I'm just spending time with Jax. There's nothing to figure out. Because I don't mind playing mommy for a while. Eventually, I'd like to just sit back. And be grandma. Be grandma. Mm. He checked up his finances. And... Somebody paid off a huge chunk of his debt. Or a wire transfer. Mortgage, credit cards, car payments. This day Come on. Years. Did he? Am I giving him too much benefit of the doubt here? Because they didn't show it? He's Jax. He's, he's okay. I think. Wrong audience. Mm, can you imagine? Yeah, I'd miss it too. That's what she's saying. I got a call from the feds asking me to pick up my grandkids from the Department of Justice facility in Stockton. Hope these kids are in a facility? Apparently the whole family is. Hope's debt's been cleared. Federal wire transfers. I think. That's why they've locked the sheriff up because they don't want the sheriff picking up any little dimes and bringing it back to the to the group because there's so much going on. He would find out something. Where's my family? Yes, but share some like just, just convince me that. Transitioning yeah, she's playing dirty. Sense. She's playing dirty. No cops. And what with all the inconvenience, I figured the least I could do was clear your debts. <laughs> yeah, you'll get someone killed. You could literally get someone killed. What kind of fucking bitch is this? What the hell is she doing? Put me back. I'll tell them. Yeah. Are you really going to risk the life of your family? The love of Clayton Corbett's This bitch goes too far. And why is no one reining her in? So you've heard what she's done. So what are you two going to say? The scumbag just killed a state official. He spent five years in jail for arson. He's not a poor guy. So we kill them. Again, okay, pick her in, in this time. Oh, please save it, okay? Save it. 
This is not personal. You dirty little bitch. Don't use your sexy ways. She's not sorry. Why are men so gullible? And he thinks that she means this, yeah? What's that? Keep the kiss and go undo what you did. Just go and tell Clay the truth. How about that? You could just stop any bloodshed. You're a strange girl, Tara. Because a uh, good girl. But a lot of people wouldn't be helping him hook up with his ex as his lover. But you're securing your shit. I like it. And what does that mean? Gemma wants her to break them up? Would you prefer her, her Jax to get back with his junkie ex? I don't think so. But you'll use her to make sure he's not with Tara. Is that what it is? <sighs> this bitch is out of control. Your family reunion? How long have you been watching? Since 1970. <laughs> she just wants to hold her kid. Any of all people should get that. You said she's trying to make up for her mistake. I'm not about second chances. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You just want to use her to get Tara out of the picture. Because Tara is actually a long term threat where this bitch will burn her bridge at one point or another. You can get rid of her. You are conniving. I want to help you. But Don't pretend you give a shit about my family. We arrested Bobby Elvis for murder, and I witness I did him and this man. You have any idea what these guys do to a man? Don't you think you should speak to someone before just taking the word of a bitch? She's so nasty. I have a witness who saw Bobby and you. Trust your man, not that bitch. Hefner got spooked by something that Opie did. He turned back to you. You jammed your gun in his sternum and fired her shots. She is awful. Are you being nice to me? Is there some heroin or some crank in that bread? 64 days. Trying to set me up? Should I do to you? Another level. Another reaction to him almost dying. Mm. Nothing happened to you, Gemma. The baby pulled through and she pulled through. He's still your husband. Mm. The father of your child. Do you love him? Yeah. You want this family back together. Gemma, oh, you are oh, something I'm else. Ready. Jax needs his wife. You stay clean. This girl, she, she is like <sighs> such a contradiction. She's like, really? You would? Why? 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 Got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, be afraid, cause that's psycho. Why does she like to kiss everyone on the mouth? I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah. Brain fuck. Don't fall for the bullshit. Can protect my family. Do you believe that? Huh? You need to start thinking about your kids. Don't 
Yeah, what kind of mother are you going to be? Do you really worry about my kids? You're desperate, love. But thanks for clearing my bills, bitch. You went too far. I got mics and trackers and a cell phone, bike, and a uh, microphone in his phone, Wait. bike, and truck. Uh. I need to know he's going to be safe. Despite all the shit we've been doing. Hope's a member of this club. He's going to get his time. Safe room. Yeah. I talked to Bobby last night. He says Stahl knows there was a third man. She knows it was Jax. Bobby said anyone who saw him could never have ID Jax. Mm -hmm. Well, if I was going to cross examine I'd argue that Opie is a criminal and he's lying to make a pushy deal. You know, he would want evidence to get him some text. They think they're gonna lie. They're gonna think that freaking Opie have put the bug there. Don't kill Opie. Come on, go away. Oh no. Oh, that's good. Do they stay in the room? Oh no, they don't. Where's Tig? Okay. Yeah, in a minute. Appreciate you coming in, Hope. You know, one member in jail and another in a whip pro facility. You don't understand my worry. Oh shit. Do you know how this looks? This is all done. She set me up to look like a rat. It's all a lie. Trust me, if I came in, I don't have a chance to tell you guys the truth and make me look this way. Mm. My goodness, you play? You didn't see? Yeah. Why don't he level with him and say, but I found a couple of rare rares. This has got to happen, Clay. He comes across really bloodthirsty. Jax is going to sus be suspicious of it. Communication! You believe him, right? I mean, he's clear of the shit now. If you think about it, a wire, it's like they're thinking the wire can only be there under a rat pretense, like under a rat umbrella. It's like she could have bugged the car just to find out more because he didn't snitch. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Don't kill OP, he's the sweet one. Okay. That was episode 11. I hope I weren't too fidgety. Legs have got sciatic nerve issues. Oh. So, oh my gosh. Jets is going to be pissed if they kill OP. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it looks like the writing's on the wall. But. Very frustrating, very, very frustrating when you know you can see all the pictures, all the puzzle pieces. You just need someone to communicate, just the sheriff guy, just to prevent some bloodshed. He should say something, but oh boy, let's see what happens. Um, okay, I'm going to end this here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Come back for another one. Peace and love. Bye.